but was it ever in doubt? Uh, you never know, of course, what the rest is going to do, but from my side, I think that first lap in, in Q3 felt pretty good. I mean, around here, you don't have a lot of corners, but it's actually quite hard to nail the lap because of uh, breaking in up to turn three, then the crest you have. It's easy to lose a 10 if you make a tiny mistake, and the same into turn four. Um, but the lap was pretty good. I mean, I, I will never be fully happy, of course, with a lap because things can be always better, but it was good enough. And actually, the whole weekend, you know, we have been quite competitive and, uh, and it was quite easy to set up the car. So uh, that's, that's always what you like. You, you always look like you gel with a circuit, but particularly this one just looks like your playground. It looks like you're having so much fun out there. Yeah. Um, I don't know why that is. I mean, of course, it's our home Grand Prix, but it's just uh, when I started driving here in F1, it's just uh, one of the tracks. Maybe because, you know, it's tiny, uh, not many corners, but you can make a difference, which I like. Um, and yeah, some tracks are pretty straightforward in how you take corners because it's only one line here. It can be a little bit different. You have the advantage going into the race tomorrow. Your championship rival starts alongside you on the front row. How tough a race do you foresee this being? Like I think so far this season, it has been, you know, uh, we can be ahead in qualifying, but I, I expect it to be again super close in, in the race. We know that they have a strong race car. Um, they always seem pretty good on the tires. So, um, yeah, if it is a little bit like France, uh, I wouldn't mind. You know, it's quite exciting for, for everyone at the end.